Hi, I'm uh, just doing some work here at the computer, and uh, as you might be able to tell, someone thinks that they got skipped for lunch. And so he's just laying on me, saying, feed me, what are you doing? Do you want to eat? Oh. All right, it's time to go get the mail. Which, this is overkill, but come on, Finn. Good boy, sit. Okay, so he's ready. I think most people know how to do this, but what you do on a training collar is you drop it through itself like that, and then you make it so it's always coming off the right side of the dog and it's like a P shape, so it just lifts and releases like that. Come here, Magic, come. Don't want a goofy poodle with a pedigree. No whiny, wimpy little pooch, don't you see? A great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. Yeah, he's doing all right. And it's a great Dane stand, six foot five. He was called a wet nose when he closed my eyes. So here it is. So what you see is it naturally just releases. And, and mostly this is to make a noise and get their attention and they are very uh, focused on listening. So I just saw the mail truck go. And what I do at the door is I ask them, I'll open the door, wait, wait, nope. And I make them sit, wait. And it should be, stay. So he's waiting right there and Magic's waiting right there. And then I tell him, okay. Easy, sit, and then I make them sit right out, sit right outside the door as well, sit. Now I should say that command once and wait for them to do it. But this way when you open the door, the dogs aren't just pulling you all the way down the driveway. Wait, wait. And they're waiting for me to say the H word, which is magic, fin, heel. They are good dogs, I'll tell you that. They're so good. You want to come inside? Come on. Same thing, we come back up here, sit, sit. Good boys, now they're waiting to go in. Wait. Okay, come. Okay, come in. Whew, thank goodness, they could almost turn around and go the other way, but they didn't. Thanks for tuning in, and I'd like to feature some pictures sent in from subscribers. First, we have Don Smith sent in his pictures of Newstead from Windsor, Canada, along with his wife, and uh, loves the couch. And then Molly, uh, who lives with Katie Mishler in Southern California, a six-month-old girl, absolutely binge-watches the channel. If you want to see your dog featured here, just send me a picture. My email is in the description. Thanks for watching. So even getting the mail can be a training opportunity, and as you just saw, consistency is critical. So I have them sit at the door before we go out, open the door, go out, make them sit again, 
go get the mail, but I even put them on a sit stay out there and they were pretty good. And then same thing coming back in. They always have to wait. They need permission to go through a door. And I'm not a control freak, but when you have 300 pounds of Great Dane, you better have them under control or you're going to be in trouble. So that's how we operate with Finn and Magic, the Great Danes, getting the mail. Have a great day.